um, okay in this tutorial I will show you how you can use a form workspace block in Simulink without any error uh, for that we have to take this block and you will find form workspace block in Simulink and sources this is form workspace block and we need a scope to visualize this uh, here scope block uh, that's all we need okay I'm connecting this so we have to go MATLAB and I'm taking a variable like uh, x equal 10 okay and if I run this uh, in workspace you can say x equals 10 uh, so in Simulink if I assign the data value as x and you will see 10 is assigned here okay click ok and if you run this model you will find error because one workspace block um, I take at least two columns okay and the first column must contain the time values and the remaining column are data values the first column obviously the time values and second column is data value and third fourth and so on okay so uh, here uh, you can visualize this uh, using a simple example like a parabolic signal uh, you will generate parabolic signal in MATLAB and I will um, convert it to in, in Simulink model okay so for that uh, as first column is time uh, so I am taking time values like uh, time step equal uh, here simulation type I 10 and data values like 200 okay and x equal Zero to three and data value similarly two hundred and I'm taking y equals x square. Okay, this will generate a parabolic signal and if I plot this, sorry, uh, time step um, y. Okay, and if you run this, and this is a uh, parabolic signal type and I want to uh, take this signal as a simulink input okay and for that uh, we have to need some code like uh, we have to take a variable like uh, let's name it output equals uh, here uh, we need two column first column is time and second column is data okay here our time is a row matrix okay so we have to convert this column matrix similarly y data you have to convert it as column matrix and then it will um, be fine for our input okay so i am taking time step and transpose it to convert it row matrix column matrix sorry and y okay that's all and if i run this you can see here uh, this is our signal and this is our output this is uh, our output is two column output first column is time and second column is data okay let's go in simulink and change the data value like our variable output okay and you can see here uh, 200 by 2 matrix okay click okay and if you run this model now you can see this is our desired signal and if you change modification like uh, x to the power 3 and run this this is our signal and in simulink also this is okay and if we take uh, like one third and run this this will look like this and in simulink if you run this this is look like this so uh, that's how you can utilize from workspace block for your uh, model and so on so that's all for today thanks for watching